Welcome everyone to Siam Park here in Tenerife, the award-winning water park. We're here today for our full 2023 review. We're going to be talking prices, which have gone up. We're going to be talking slides, tips and tricks, and having fun as well. Some POV shots of those slides as well. It's a gorgeous day. We're currently in May time, so we're heading into the peak season for Siam Park all through the summer. Although it's open throughout the year, the summer is always the busiest, especially with residents as well. We have also got Siam Nights coming up in July and August, so that's going to be good fun. We'll be back to film that. But yeah, join us inside the park. We're going to show you a few little different tips and tricks from our experience. We are annual pass holders here, so we've done it many times. Uh, we know a lot of things, uh, how to save time, uh, maybe save a bit of money, and uh, do things a little bit differently to uh, beat the crowd. Are you excited, Laura? really excited. Last time I came, I just sunbathed, I didn't do any of the rides, so I'm really excited to get on some rides today, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There has been a lot of talk of Siam Park recently as well with the prices going up. I'm going to let you know exactly how much they went up by and also give you some comparisons to compare to other water parks around the world and theme parks because I still think, although it's disappointing, prices have risen. I still think it's excellent, excellent value for what you're getting inside. But uh, let's jump on inside, get ourselves uh, some beds and we'll talk about a few different tips and tricks before you even get inside. So the first thing I want to mention before we even go in is parking. If you have rented a car or you're driving down to Siam Park, you can pay to park in here or you can park for free in the road up the side or even sometimes in Siam Mall, some people park in there. Uh, when you do arrive, I always recommend coming first thing in the morning. Uh, the park comes at 10, but they do start letting people in by about quarter to 10. So I'd get here for about half nine. You will see some different lines form outside. Uh, normally the one, if you've got tickets that you've already bought in, in advance, will run along here. So you want to join the right queue. Make sure you're in the one where if you bought tickets in advance, make sure you're in the correct queue. If you still need to buy tickets at the kiosk, uh, make sure you're in the queue for that. I do recommend you will save a lot of time buying the tickets in advance. It's super easy online. They send it to your phone. They email it to you. Pick your day. It's the same price whether you do it online or here at the kiosk, so. Yeah, the line does move really quickly, so whereas it looks quite scary, it moves really, really quickly. So it is better that way. And always remember when you do book online or in advance, if you do get that email, make sure you have got that QR code as they cannot do anything about it once you get to these gates. So make sure everything is correct on your phone or on your handwritten ticket before you even get here. Yeah, make sure you have got it all screenshotted and saved to your phone before you head on in. And uh, let's uh, make our way in. Let's see the new prices and the price differences. And we'll see exactly how much it's gone up. But yeah, I recommend definitely getting here early. You can park for free or you can pay five euros to park in the Siam Park parking. A lot of people just park in Siam Mall and walk across. Let's uh, see the new prices here. Let's see how much it's gone up by. Okay, so here are the new prices. It's now 42 euros for an adult and 21 euros for a resident, 30 euros for a child from three to 11. And uh, remember kids under three are free. And uh, yeah, it's, it has gone up, but not a huge amount. We were already at, I think 40 euros, was it? Or 38? Yeah. I mean, it's crept up by euros. about two euros a year. Yeah, not even that, because we've been here for nine years, and when we first came out, was it 34 or 36? I think it was 36 when we first started it's coming. Not gone up much at all, and considering the price of everything's gone up so much, it's not bad at all. Well, 42 euros, that's about 38 pounds. Just for a whole day, remember, you're not just for a morning, it's a whole day, full access to heavy rides. Yeah, the park's open from 10 till 6, so you do have a full day in here for that price. Now, if you compare that to the likes of uh, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park in the UK, and the mission ticket for there, uh, also Volcano Bay over in Florida, that water park, uh, that is about $100 with tax to get in. So I think it's still excellent value at 42 euros, I really do. Still I still think. Value, yeah. yeah, the other thing and that's crept up off. is going to be uh, the fast passes that has crept up as well. And we will be letting you know how much they've gone up by because I know they've increased. As Laura's just mentioned though, you do get the free bus to get here as well. So if you don't want to drive or park, which I've mentioned, they do have the free Siam Park double-decker buses, yep. uh, which run from half nine in the morning all the way till six. You can jump on those. They stop at all the different resorts, Los Cristianos, Adeki, Las Americas, and you can jump on those and get here for free. So that's included as well. There's not many other theme parks do that, is there? No. Well, we're in and I'm excited. I noticed the annual passes have stayed the same for uh, residents, 99 euros a year, which is a bargain. Uh, that's what we pay to come any day of the year, which is nice. 
but uh, it's good to be back in. You get all the smells. I love the theming in here. How uh, well put together it is. Oh, I'm excited now to get a few rides done. Now, what we normally do is head straight to the wave pool beach. And uh, we normally get here when it opens, straight to the wave pool beach, get our beds. And I recommend the lockers behind the wave pool beach. But to mix it up this time, this year, uh, for our review, we're actually going to go and get some beds somewhere else. I'm thinking maybe in the middle of the lazy river, we'll maybe try out some other lockers and see how it goes. See if it does make a big difference. We normally always go to the wave pool beach for our beds. But I'm thinking something a little bit different this year. And we'll go maybe in the middle of the lazy river or something. Yeah. Get the view of people floating by. Now here is our next little price increase for this year for 2023, which is the fast passes. They are now 28 euros. They used to be 15. I think it was 15, wasn't it, Laura? 17? 15, 19, yeah. It's now gone up to 28 euros. So a bit of a price increase. The only good side of that is it will put a lot of people off. So the fast passes really will be fast passes. I think they were priced a little bit too cheap in some ways. So everyone was buying them and the lines were not really that fast. But I think if you're paying 28 euros now, it will be much, much quicker. We're going to see how busy the wait times are today. We might end up buying some of these just to test them out to see if it is worth the money. But uh, let me know your thoughts on that price increase. 28 euros each for a fast pass. That counts as one go on each slide. It's skipping the line. But as I said, I think too many people were buying them. I think they were too fairly priced. When you think of fast passes, again, elsewhere in other parks, how much they are. You know, how much is a fast pass in Alton Towers, Thorpe Park? Uh, all of those other places, I think 28 euros is probably about where it should be, especially if too many people were buying them. But, uh, yeah. We'll go and get our sunbeds and then we'll work all this out, see if we're going to need fast passes today and uh, see what the crowd levels are like. So we've just come down into one of these little sections here. This is what I mean about the theming. Look at all this. Very immersive. It's all natural trees, but the way they let it all grow, it's very immersive. Got a few sunbeds here in the shade. I'd say it is looking busy so far already though. There's plenty of people obviously put their towels down and then you can't get the beds. Yeah, I was just thinking somewhere different. Coming in the middle here, people floating by. Look how good that water looks, Laura. Oh, looks how excited are you to get in there? Need to dip your toes in it. And, uh, we're going to find our sunbeds. Then we'll be on to the next big, big tip for Cyan Park. Very important tip, this next one. Let's get our sunbeds. Well, the only beds left are these ones that are a little bit minging. But uh, we've got towels to put on top of them. Bit of a shame they don't clean these off. But uh, we're going to move them across to there. It's so, so busy. We've come in at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. We couldn't quite get here for opening time, which is what we recommend. And you will pay the price. You will be hunting around for beds and things if you come in a little bit later like we are today. But we've got some. Towels will go on. But yeah, it's a shame they haven't you know, blasted them off. They are full of sort of the gunk from the trees. So I mentioned a next big important tip, and that is sun cream it is mega important firstly to put loads on secondly to make sure it is a high factor and thirdly if you can make sure that it is water resistant as well it washes off so quickly on the slides make sure you keep reapplying throughout the day every few hours so many people come out here with sunstroke heat stroke dehydration burns so very, very important. Make sure you slap the sun cream on, not just in Cyan Park, but in Tenerife everywhere in the summer. It's so, so hot and strong in the sun, isn't it? It's, uh, it is May as well, so it is Skin Cancer Awareness Week. So do make sure you whack on that sun cream, look after yourselves, but uh, make sure you do keep reapplying. It does wash off. Even water resistant stuff comes off, doesn't it, Laura? It does, and you're meant to apply every two to three hours, is it? Yeah, two to three hours. Layer it on, get it on nice and thick, yeah. and uh, make sure you don't burn. If you are prone to burning, uh, make sure you probably wear a t-shirt or a rash vest is what I'd recommend as well. Save your shoulders and uh, wear a rash vest. Yeah, and then get an under an umbrella in the shade or anything like that so you can really stay out of the sun when you don't need to be in it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Next tip up on the list, if you haven't seen our vlogs before here at Cyan Park, are these little beauties. You will uh, be attracting all the attention in these. But the, the water shoes make a massive, massive difference. The floor is quite rough, so after walking on it for a few hours, your feet do get sore, but also the floor gets very, very hot in the sunshine. So uh, they do save your feet. You can wear these on uh, the slides, in the rings, everything like that. People ask me about Crocs. I don't think Crocs are possible. 
Uh, a lot of people, other than that, wear sliders and flip-flops and leave them outside the slide. But that takes up time. You risk people pinching your sliders and stuff. I just whack a pair of these on and they're on all day. Save your feet burning as well in the sun. So, uh, yeah, definitely recommend a pair of these. You can pick them up for about 10 euros. You can buy them in the park as well uh, for, I think, about 12. But yeah, you probably get them cheap online. A pair from uh, Amazon and uh, they really do save your feet. So we did get our sunbeds by the Lazy River, as you saw, rather than the beach today. We've gone for something a little bit different. We're now gonna walk around to these main set of lockers just here, if they've even got any left. This main locker section in the middle. And we'll see if, uh, I normally find these get a little bit too busy, a little bit chaotic, and it does get a little bit of a bottleneck here. But we'll mix things up this year. We'll see if we can, uh, we'll show these, see if they're, not as bad as I remember. Uh, don't forget as well, they are still doing the second visit offer for half price. So if you do enjoy your day in here, uh, just make sure you buy a ticket for another day while you're inside the park and it's half price. So you can come back for a second day during your holiday uh, within 15 days uh, for just 21 euros. So if you come, you love it, you want to come again, make sure you buy a ticket before you leave and it's half price. Okay, so we have now switched to the GoPro. We've put the stuff in the locker. How much was the locker, Laura? We only had, in that section, large lockers left. So it was 12 euros, you get five back. So it was 12 euros, only large ones left. So that's the key thing with coming early. Uh, all the small ones were gone. So uh, you do get the deposit back. Make sure you retain the key and get your deposit back. But uh, yeah, in general, very busy set of lockers, those. I probably will, would still say Wave Pool Beach for me. But I did want to mix it up for today's video and uh, give it a try since we haven't done it for a few years going somewhere else. We're heading straight to Dragon, which is normally a very good test of how busy the park is. If this is a big long line, we might have to invest in some fast passes today. We will see. Uh, this looks a little bit different. I've never seen a cocktail stand outside here before. Uh, they have got uh, different cocktails now on offer at this uh, cafe bar here. So we've got the Mojito Cyan. The Mai Tai, Pina Colada, Tequila Sunrise. Have a few of them, then go on Dragon. Oh would feel even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> boy, oh boy, it's uh, dangerous. Doesn't say the price is on there. That's at this little uh, Thai cafe bar here. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, the, normally one of the designated smoking areas. This is the Thai bar. They also do soft drinks, water, small beer, five euros, 50. Toasted sandwiches and orange juice, 550. Couple little meal deals going on. Oh yeah, cocktails, the first time I've seen that cocktail sign before. It's definitely new. Definitely. Pushing the old cocktails a little bit more. Well, yes, if you're not into rides and you're here with the family, you have to have yeah. cocktail, yeah. I've got to say, I've, over the years, never ever seen anyone drunk in here, have we? Oh, no, it's not a place you no, get drunk. No, it's not the sort of place, you have a nice, quiet drink. Yeah, a couple of little cocktails is, is uh, good with your ice cream, coffee and a muffin. Four euros, not a bad deal either, is it? That's a really the good The theme park price. price is not bad at all. Yeah. Right, let's carry on, see if we can get ourselves on Dragon <clears throat> and we'll see how long the wait time is and if we will need to invest that 28 euros per person for the fast passes. So just walking up the queue for Dragon and I've got to say so far, looks so good. I have seen it all the way down here before. I just love, love walking through all the plants. You can smell all the bougainvillea in flower at the moment. I just love it, all natural shade as well with the trees. And all the slides here as well, all quite closely knit together. You haven't got a massive walk between the slides. Yeah, I do like it. And just pleasant music playing around the park as well. Does, uh, Make for a nice, pleasant day. Okay, here we go, Dragon. It's freezing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite oh. slide. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Oh! 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 
Well, there you go, that was Dragon to start with. We waited about 15 minutes. It Not just fast. didn't move quick, although the line was quite far forward. However, the fast pass line was completely empty. The people that came up on the fast pass queue, there's only four of them in total the whole time, straight on. So you are going to save a lot of time with the fast pass. Whether we're going to buy one today, I'm not sure. But uh, what should we do next, Volcano? Yeah. While we're here? While we're here, yeah. Okay. Here we go, so it is Volcano now, the one on the board. Here we go. It's going to go quite dark now. Two great rides done there, straight off the bat, two of the big ones. Now, if you've never been to Scion Park before, uh, all the slides do vary. Firstly, with size and how fast they go and the size of the drops, uh, they are all colour-coded. Uh, the bigger ones are normally rings of four. Don't worry if you're not a, a, a party of four, they will always put you together with someone else. Uh, then you've got other slides as well where you do have to carry the rings up and you can go down in a ring of one or a ring of two. Then you've also got the ones with the mats where you carry a mat and you do the races so it does vary uh, some of them are a little bit bigger than others but they are color coded so if you're worried about it just check the color coding on the sign at the start uh, you've also got different height requirements as well for some of them so if you have got young kids uh, do make sure they fit uh, before you go all the way up to the top and they reject you just make sure they do fit the sizer but yeah two great rides to start with love that one dragon is my favorite that big drop into the bowl it's fantastic and yeah, overall, wait times are not too bad at the moment. We've got two rides done there within about half an hour. And we're going to wander around now, see what else we fancy doing. And I've got a question for you, Laura. Yeah. Because I know people will be saying in the comments, or people will be saying at home, what's going on with Laura's hair? It looks a bit greasy. What's going on? <laughs> you've got a little theory that you've done today it's with your hair. It's proven. Our hair is like a sponge, so it absorbs everywhere of water. So if you go to the rides, it's absorbing all the chlorine. So what I've done is I've put a deep conditioner mask on it. Right. So it absorbs that deep conditioner mask and not the water. Right. Look it up, it, it does work. So So in theory, when you wash your hair later tonight after Siam, it, it should so be damaged. nice and soft, it won't be yeah. damaged from the chlorine. So yeah, if you find your hair is getting damaged or you want to look after a bit more, put a deep conditioner in it, because that's there's a lot in there. And just put it on there, put your hair up and then just leave it for the whole day. And if you really, really want to be careful, go under a normal shower before you go into the chlorine as it'll absorb that normal water other than the chlorine water. Yeah, it's yeah, it's proven. Also don't forget as well ladies if you've got a part in your hair make sure you get the factor Ooh, 50 in I there. Am. I've done it. You do normally burn don't you Laura on your scalp there. People yes. forget that don't they so if you've I got a part. I always do it. Yeah and a lot of us get the little braids on holiday with the kids so make yeah. sure you're really Make sure really... You, if your scalp's exposed you get that factor 50 on. We're going to be yeah. reapplying the sun cream shortly because we have just done yeah, two slides. Definitely. We're going to do one more then we'll be back to the locker to reapply. But yeah great start to the day. Great start to our 2023 yeah. review. If you are enjoying it, hit the thumbs up. Let's uh, go and jump on something else. Okay, here we are now at the wave pool. The waves are on. Many people's favourite pastime, this one. Oh, we, we do love the waves, don't we? Yeah. Fantastic, aren't they? Uh, bear in mind when you come in here, they do ask you to remove your sunglasses and uh, be careful with your phones and cameras and things as well. I'm going to have mine on the chest mount, but they, the lifeguards are quite strict with uh, sunglasses and things like that, so. Probably just leave them behind. And uh, yeah, let's get some waves. I'm excited for this. How nice is this? Just sunbathing here, listening to the waves, listening to people having fun. Love it. And what's nice as well is you don't have to go all the way in. If you're not comfortable going all the way in, you will still get the waves just here, stood up or sat down. It's, uh, it is varied, the uh, depth of the water. Here we go! Whoa! <laughs> Here we go! 
go. The water is actually quite warm in here today, isn't it? It's warmer than the slides. Here comes the next next wave. We're in the break zone. This is where you get washed up. Here goes Laura. She's off. <laughs> so if you do want to do the waves, they are on every quarter to the hour for 15 minutes. Uh, you can see here now the food hall is getting very busy at lunchtime. That's my other little recommendation is to try and eat before 12 o'clock or after about half past one. Yeah. Peak hour now, one o'clock, half twelve. And gets very busy, doesn't yeah. it? Hey, you've got a couple of different snack bars. We will show you them all later and what is on offer as well, including prices. You've got crepe bars. You've got a sports bar down there as well. Uh, there's also a pizza place just at the end of the beach. But uh, it does get busy, doesn't it, at that yeah. peak hour. It's nice to try and eat a bit earlier if you can, beat the crowds or go a little bit later. Yeah, uh, only worry with going a bit later is you might find you haven't got all of the options available. But uh, yeah, if you want to do the waves, quarter to the hour, they're every, every hour for 15 minutes, every so quarter amazing. two. So do get yourself in there. They're, they're fantastic, aren't they? So really good. Fun, yeah, loads of fun. So we've just come to the lazy river. The water is a little bit cold. Everyone's saying it's cold getting in. Hey, you just grab a ring. You can either grab a ring of two or a ring of one. They did, so they do still do the rings of three as well. If you fancy a ring of three. But yeah, we're just waiting for a little bit of a quieter section to get on. And uh, this is the one with the extra little rapids ride if you want to do it as well. I don't know whether we're going to do that today. But you can stay on and go up a little, cool little escalator, isn't it? It takes you up to little rapids that go down. Yeah, we're not going to be able to POV every single slide today. But uh, hopefully these tips and tricks do help you out when you're visiting Sion Park. We did just meet some lovely subscribers. I did say, did you get here when it opened? They said, yeah, we watched your video. We got here when it opened. And uh, they got their choice of beds on the beach. So it makes a big difference, doesn't it? So if you do come with young kids to Sion Park, Coco Beach is a fairly new addition over the last few years. And this is a kids wave pool beach. So like you've just seen us on before uh, with the big beach with the waves, this is a kids version. So very, very small little waves, cool little splash zones in there as well. I will take you down and show you. But yeah, great little place to stop up with the young ones. If you're coming with young ones or part of the family is uh, some young kids, I would definitely come and get yourself set up on Coco Beach, which is right the other side of the park. Yeah, you can see some of the gorgeous villas from here as well up there. Some stunning properties around uh, the edge of Siam. But not so far, it's been very busy, but we've got a lot of rides done. Uh, we haven't really had any trouble. We applied the sun cream, had a little drink at the locker as well. Yeah. Uh, we do always try and bring in a big bottle of water uh, or a bottle of Aquarius wrapped in a towel, uh, which you never have any troubles with. Always uh, keep drinking plenty when you can. You have got lockers here at Coco Beach as well. And they are doing some work here. It looks like we have another expansion going on. I think maybe they'll probably end up putting a little slide in here or something. Yeah, but there is an extension going on here next to Coco. A lot of work happening. Since I was here last as well, I did a live stream in here a few weeks ago. And they've done a lot of work since then. But we'll carry on in just to show you. They've got their cool little hammocks in here as well. Cool little uh, day bed things as well. So I'll take you in and show you. But yeah, coming in the summer. May time, everything is all in bloom, and the colours around are just stunning with the blue sky. Even better, yeah, you can smell. I just love the immersion in here. You really don't feel like you're in Tenerife when you're in here. And uh, coming up as well, one of my other favourite little parts of the park. And I wish they did this at the entrance. I think it would be such a cool entrance. Walking into Siam Park. This is fantastic to start with this fountain. But I would love to walk into Siam Park. Everyone to walk through this right here this little water bridge the water flying over your head what an entrance that would be into the park i think it's so cool you don't get wet i just think it's a really cool feature i think walking into the park what an entrance that is love that love that as a feature yeah look at all this in flower gorgeous and here we go here is the little kids wave pool so you can see just little diddy waves just little ones for the kids to go in. You've got life jackets there as well. You've got a cafe. 
with some food there as well. It's a little bit quieter this area, isn't it, Maura? Yeah, you've got plenty of seats around the edge. But yeah, this, this is only put in a, a few years ago now. And I think it makes a big difference, especially if you've got young ones. Yeah, because the wave pool, you can see all the parents on the very edge and the other wave pool like being really worried. Yeah. So the kids want to play in the waves, so this one you can just throw them in safely and then have a nice time. Yeah, you've got the lifeguards on duty as well, of course. Yeah. And then just over there is where you've got the hammocks and the day beds. Let's quickly have a look at what food and drink options are available here. Plenty of sunbeds still available as well, so Cocoa Beach could be the one for you, for sure. So here's some of your different food options in here. You've got a mixed sandwich, 275, different baguettes, cheese and ham, uh, fruit bowls, salads, some of the price there, cream of vegetable soup. You've also got bubblegum burst and lemon slushies at the back there, four euros twenty. Some sun cream, all your different drinks, coffees. And then you can get a hot dog and a refreshment for seven euros. And Stucky Tiles chicken, 750. Yeah. Quite a few options actually, considering well, it's a small it's unit, isn't it? Uh, let's check the little drinks down here as well. There's all your sweets. You've got donuts, muffins, chocolate bars. You can have a bottle of champagne for 75. Yeah. Now there's your menu there as well. Very similar to what's going to be on offer at the main wave pool beach, isn't it, as well? Yeah. I just want to show the cocktail now. prices are just here. Here's your cocktails, seven euros ninety per cocktail. Not bad no, not bad at all. Though. So this just gives you an idea of how big the waves go. Now, one thing I've noticed, Laura, I don't know if you have as well, the sand on this beach <laughs> is a lot, lot finer, uh, maybe a bit more child-friendly. Very fine sand compared to the main wave pool, isn't it? Yeah, very different. The main wave pool one is a little bit gritty, stony. Yeah, this one's very perfect, fine sand, isn't it? Yeah, just to show you, that's the extent of the waves, nice little ones. I'm sure we'll be bringing Jude here soon, Oh yeah. my little nephew. But uh, let's head on some of the big slides again now. It's time to do some red ones, some big ones, get our speed yeah. up again. Definitely. Now just to show as well, we've got more construction going on. Uh, to maintain the high level of quality we demand of our facilities, we're carrying out some renovation works. Now I remember here, just past there with the toilets, this looks like it's going to be maybe a new little cafe snack bar maybe. Uh, there was some beds here as well. So whether it's just a refinish or whether they're adding some more facilities in, you can see they've extended that little bit there. Yeah, interesting. Completing some extra work, always expanding this park as well. Don't know how much more they can do now. I think they're right on the limit of the land that they own. But it's good to see they're still continuing to do improvements. You can see there's more around the back here as well. More work going on. Look at look at all this down here. Looks like there is going to be a whole new section. I mean, we might even even be having a new slide coming in here. Yeah. Two new slides. Yeah. If anyone knows what's going on, do let us know. You can see yeah, there's the yeah. exits. That's going to be the pool where you're going to finish off into there, where you'll come off, and you yeah. can see the uh, the stanchions where the slide's going to come down. Looks like maybe two together, two, two races, races maybe. Yeah. Wow, and I didn't think they could extend any more, but they're continuing to do so. If anyone's got any more information on this new slide or new slides, uh, uh, do let us know. Exciting times here at Siam. And uh, that just shows as well, the price increase is valid because they're continuing to expand. They're, not just robbing us, they're, not just they're giving you more and more slides. They're continuing to keep the park absolutely spot on. Then if you've noticed, it's spotless in here. Yeah. There's not a it's stack of rubbish around. For the price points for where we are, for what we're getting, it's amazing. I do think, I mean, people go, oh, well, where's this extra money going? It's going, you know, into the profits. It's getting reinvested into more slides, more entertainment, a bigger park, more facilities for kids. So yeah, and you've got to remember that we've seen theme parks hike up their prices quite a lot. Well, yeah, we go and to Florida quite often. Any, yeah. Not giving us much more for our money. Yeah. Or in fact, take more off us. So to put up that much and then give us two new rides. Two new rides, uh, you know, the, the wave pool beach that the kids ones only been open a few years. Yeah. But this is very exciting. I didn't think they had any more land, but plainly they do. This is exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what so this becomes. Sure yeah, it looks like that's going to be sort of the main loading area. And then you're going to come down the hill, maybe snake around and down and in. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Can't we? So I'm just giving you a little more view of the construction here. Look at the work that is going on. It's expansive. They've done a lot of work in such a short period of time. These are all the supports going in. 
to uh, support the slide. It's going to go down the hill, quite an incline as well down there. But yeah, that's going to be your main loading area up there. Exciting! I did not know this was going on. As I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. So, it's time for Kinnery now. One of my favourites again. Massive one. Here we go. I'm going to take Laura. Oh, oh. Here we go. Hey. Whoa. God. <laughs> oh my god! Wait till the next bit. Have you not done this before? No. Just a bit. Oh, she's going back. Here we go. <laughs> what a slide that is, Kinnery. Absolutely brilliant. And especially when you do it with two people who've never done it before. It makes it so much <laughs> more fun cool. when you yeah, when you do a ride with someone who hasn't got a clue what's coming next. Great fun. I love that dip into the bowl, the second one. Unreal. We've done most of what we wanted to do today. As I said, we're not going to do a POV on every single slide. Because I do think it's nice to come and not know what to expect as well a lot of the time. But uh, I think we've done most of it. We're going to show the rest of the food by the wave pool. There's a couple of other little tips that I'd like to give you. So you can make the most of your day here. That's all it's all about. You don't have to do every single tip, obviously, but a lot of you enjoy them. If it helps you out, that's what it's all about. So do make sure you hit the subscribe. It's completely free to do so. We've got loads of other Siam Park videos on the channel as well, including Siam Nights. So that will give you an idea of what's coming up in July, August. But uh, we'll wander around, see if anything else takes our fancy. I'm, I'm amazed with the construction on this end of the park. It's come out of absolutely nowhere. It's, it's good news though, it's good news. Well, that concludes our 2023 vlog of uh, Siam Park. We will be back, of course. There is going to be more vlogs as well. But that's our little tips and reviews uh, video done. Firstly, make sure you get here nice and early. Secondly, make sure you whack on all the sun cream, maybe some of the water shoes, get your uh, choice of the beds that you'd like. Uh, try and get the big rides done earlier on if you can, those red ones, if you can handle them. And a very, very exciting construction update there with the, you know, the new slide going in. I'm excited to see exactly what that's going to be. And as I said, with lunch, dinner, the prices are reasonable, the theme park prices, but they're not bad. It is decent food as well. I enjoy it when I have it. It's not like you're eating it just for the sake of it. It is decent food. But again, try and have it early or a little bit later if you can. And just take in all the theme, and I love the theme in there, the way you walk around. It's very immersive. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just a great day out, all in all. Whether you like the rides or you like just the beach, great day out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't forget you have got those free buses as a service as well or you can get a taxi or you can drive down try and park for free if you can you save a fiver yeah. but yeah if you've got any other tips or recommendations do let me know down in the comments thank you all very much for watching hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button we'll be back a for siam nights and b to keep an eye on the construction of that new slide or slides uh. I'm excited for them. yeah but uh, thank you very much and uh, slide on bye guys